Hey everyone, I'm Afford. Welcome back to Head and Blood Right. We're entering the barracks now. I did a little digging into this game as well, so I learned some more. Uh, wiping the mixture of blood and sweat from her forehead. Oh, she's sweaty. Zan shambled towards the giant barracks gate. With grit teeth, she hardly refrained from smashing the gate, uh, from smashing the switch opening. Anger, treason, treachery. How did the cultists time their invasion so well? How could their magics work past the crystal wards? How could they kill everyone so fast? Suddenly, her thoughts were shattered by a spike of pain coursing down her spine. In a split blackout, a word echoed through her mind. Abhoth? Abhoth? Abhoth. A word. Or name. She rubbed her temple, trying to grasp its meaning, but her memories were clouded still. All Zan knew right now was her duty towards protecting the crystal heart. There's no telling what the demons could do once they reach the core of the Iron Division's tech. The barracks gate begins to open. If the garrison still holds, this is the best, the best place where she can rally up with the defenders. And get revenge. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So I, I earned a couple of like Steam trading cards. I don't know if this is a spoiler, but it says that Zen is a um, half demon, half orc. Pinned on the nearby wall, but it got blown to the floor. If any survivor gets here, we're holed up in the garrison, so link up with us as soon as you can. Make sure the hail us before into the corridor or we're open fire on you. If you cold as free can read this, come, kick, uh, come kiss our asses. Man, that's effective. I learned that this is actually running in GG Doom. Which is just one of the engines that uh, permits running of Doom. I also learned that this is... Uh, I also learned that this was initially just a, a passion project. Ooh, you motherfucker. I'm not above shooting a guy's ankles. Whoops. Very good mistake. I am aware that I do have those healing potions. I'll strike. Ooh. Oh, I missed this as well. And that. Makes it easier. My axe, good. Take a boo. I also learned that this was initially just like a, a zero budget game. And then it later got like, I want to say like $2,000-ish in crowdfunding. Whoops, forgot that. Did I run into my flames? Can that happen? No. Okay. Well, I don't know what happened then. Oh! Hugged by a burning initiate, I see. Damn it. Oh, right. I forget to pick up this help. Doi. Then I'll be able to take that hit. Ow, come on. It's 
So it looks like I don't lose the uh, uh, the the stuff in something. The how do I put this? You don't waste ammo by reloading early, which is good. Ooh, wow. Okay, we can get a good look at her now. Sorry. I feel like the enemy variety is a little low here. Like, we've gotten cultists, cultists with a hat, cultists with a robe, a uh, dog, and then the, the big buff ladies. Oh, there's a little fungus. Damn it. Total gimme, dude. Botching. Um. Based on what I read, I also think that this is just pure author appeal. So I think what I'm playing right now is the is the early stuff. Uh, Valk is under attack. Our barriers have fallen somehow since the invading forces using powerful portals to bypass our defenses. I've linked up with Beza and the rest of the garrison. We're outnumbered. We're barely holding up the apartments. We don't have enough to supply. Uh, we don't have supplies to survive a siege, so we've decided to split up. I'll take six spare warriors and rush to aid the lanterns guarding the Crystal Heart, since that's our grand duty. The Plaza Path is blocked, so our best shot to is to move the forge and use the portal there to rally with the hearts of guardians. Beza will stay here with the goblins and hold the barracks. Or at least try to slow the new waves down. A new sentence added to the bottom, written in haste by someone else. The ink isn't dried. We ran out of ammo. It's not even fair. Beza's is dead. I have nowhere to fall back to now. Remember us. That sucks. Good resupply, though. <sighs> So yeah, what I've been playing is uh, the like, not the bad version, but just the one that was made on, on a no budget. Interesting. Pigs. My wife's home. Oh, I'm dry. Damn. Hey, we're back. Um... So I just ran here. There's a key in this bush. And oh, by the way, it's been like five days. I just had a little, uh, a little in between. Let me turn my audio back down here. Uh, and I found a secret here. Various sketches and schematics. It is a shame I couldn't find you before you set off. The matters of the underworld are ever pressing me. I hope you're well. It is about time you and your orc sisters weren't went to strike at these chaotic savages. As much as I like the scars, try not to bring any fresh ones. Be watching your combat carefully, but my resources are stretched thin. Uh, you forgot your sentry toy by the temple. I dropped it in the bedroom. Find a better place to hide your apartment key. Aww. Sentry turrets. So it's not even really a toy. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Wow, this is like a real ass, like a bathroom, with a rug on the floor, hello, heading. 
Can we get some more good mirror tech? Some more okay mirror tech. So I did some more um, looking on the wiki, not spoiling myself. Attempting to not, at least. I mean, that was probably the only one, so I don't need to check these, right? Vulk is under attack. Did I read this? I think I read this. It's what I get for taking a break for five full days in the middle of an episode. I saw that guy again. Oh, there's fall damage? That's bullshit. Oh, hey. Is this gonna be like that nothing guy from Mamori? Hope not. Okay. Should have seen that coming. Alright, we're back. It's a little weird to have like a door that opens when you push the use key on the thing next to it. After we've had a whole bunch of doors that open when you push the door, you know? It's just a little thing, but I got hung up by it. Because like you actually have to push that head. It makes sense and all, but like it's just a little weird. All oh, the access physics, damn. I can say nothing but of, uh, the efficacy of this axe. Schematics? Cool. Uh... What are you? Oh, it's a limb. <laughs> That's radical. Okay, I've now got a heavy iron key and an axe key. But when will I find the ads key? Hmm. Gate's not fully powered. That one is. What about you? Not that. And you? No. So apparently this game's developer was like split in, split in two. Um, and the first half of the game was done just as a fan project. I think I might have talked about this already. Anyway, similarly, I might actually split this into PS2. Damn. Um. Oh, uh, what if I could chop those logs? That'd be fun. There you are. But yeah, I might just play the first half, which I think is just called Hedden. And then play the second episode, which is, I think, called Head and Blood Right. In a bit. Not in, like, you know, a long time. Oh, cool. Go away, I'm looking at my big, thick orc mamas. God damn. 
Oh, hey. That's fine. Juicy. I'm noticing that they all are, like, starting to wear the same clothes, and, like, maybe it's because of sprite limitations, maybe it's developer taste. Uh, despite the fact that I admitted to reading on the wiki, I did not look at where any of the spoilers are, or any of the secrets. I don't know where they are, in fact. Stone key. I have so many keys, but not the stone key. Damn you. Oh, yeah. Nothing like pseudo 3D jumping puzzles. Just for an Estus flask. So perhaps I've missed where the stone key is up here. I shouldn't back off too soon. Okay, this is the wank room. There's those gloves. I wouldn't hide it in there, though. Are there any doors up here? I think these are just the doors where they're like a picture of a door, you know? Like when it's not a real barrel, it's a picture of a barrel, and you can't break it. This isn't full of power. I imagine the, like, exit doors behind that, right? I can't go further back. If this game turns into a creepypasta, I'll be a little disappointed. But not super disappointed. I'm just thinking about the, the something that's following me. I wonder if I'm too soon to backtrack. Like, I'll be honest, um, I'm not as old as some people may think, uh, and I didn't really grow up in the era of, like, Doom being the norm. When I was old enough to be playing video games, uh, the shit everyone was talking about was, like, Halo and that sort of level design. This fucking real JPEG of a cat is so silly looking. <laughs> So this is the secret room. And the door... It is more colored in. It doesn't have gray. Maybe that's a lighting thing, though? The lighting looks pretty similar in here, so... Oh! Blank paper. Um, yeah, Doom is typically centered around a whole bunch of little hob levels. Oh, cool. Potion of Minor Healing. Doom typically has a whole bunch of little levels that are all like a big hub that you go through. Uh, I think the most iconic one of these is probably the Gauntlet in Doom 2. When I think about, like, that type of level design. Though I think they might have misspelled it as the Gantlet at one point. Which is pretty funny. Um, but yeah, the Gauntlet is just, like, you're in a big square or circular room. A whole bunch of guys show up. You kill them, and as you kill, more doors unlock. And guys must be dead to unlock doors, you know? But, like... There's an almost, and like when I say this, people will think Dark Souls, but like there's a, there's a almost like key puzzling thing that you do. And I'll be honest, this, this is a, this is a totally different problem I'm talking about here, but Dark Souls is not a fucking Metroidvania. I will not allow people to say that Dark Souls is a Metroidvania anymore. Metroidvanias require items for your progression. Dark Souls doesn't do that. 
Dark Souls just has like keys, which makes it closer to like a Resident Evil or Doom, which is what we are talking about. Ah, oh, fuck. Can you go check the vents behind the gym? Bears keep telling me they hear a weird hissing noise. Could be a fissure or perhaps some priests. Take a frag fire can, you might have some purging to do. So where does this lead me? Ah, to here. Okay. Oop, sorry, sir. A moment. So yeah, um, but that's like the the gameplay loop for Doom. Is the stone key in here? Because that would be funny. Um, and like, you know, it's not strictly the norm, and so sometimes it does leave me. Uh, Hmm. It does leave me a little caught unawares. A uh, what now? <laughs> Fantastic. So that's our rocket launcher equivalent to Valk's Great Forge. Way is shut. Basically, if you know, if your scouts, if you or your scouts read this, we've carved our way to the forge. So the gates were open and the cultists have taken security posts in there. We'll lock them down behind us as we were ambushed by a wave spawning into the depot here, but we can't risk getting flanked while pushing. We're loaded on ammo and potions, uh, but there's plenty of supplies the rest around if you can get here. Good luck, Dura. Take a boo. Take a Stone key. Awesome. Is this a firing range? Because that's red. It is a firing range. Funny. Oop, not doing that again. I should save. Yeah, this is the thing where like the gameplay loop is just a little out of my frame of reference. Um, it's still good and I get it, but like the reason that I got faster playing Doom, and I haven't been faster playing Doom in a couple of years, the reason that I am Uh, is because I just have played Doom a lot in the past. So that is a stone door. I should probably actually, like... The shield is still there, that's funny. All our crush bows are enchanted with air magic, currency of the Lancers and Earth Mothers. Deadly fast accurate shots pierce through all flesh and armor with ease. Know the magic force encasing the bolt dulls the explosion and fragmentation radius, but this can be used to our advantage at closer range. No demon will withstand this raw power. Is that just the old fire explanation? Um. Okay, and then in here we should find another stone door. Uh, 
unless it wasn't in here. But this is the shortcut back. There's a stone door in here. Maybe it was on the other side. Oh, man. My awareness is low. As is my intelligence. Here's where it was. This deep end. Armor amulet charge. Go up. Cool. Hmm, interesting. I wonder if this thing has the... Uh, ooh, hey. Not exactly handicap friendly. You gotta run to there to push the button. It's on this place. Black Mesa. Oh, no, these shortcut. Interesting. Clever. I feel like there were more areas in here I didn't look around in. Hmm. hmm. And I still don't know how to power this. Like the last couple of times it was just me jacking in some things, you know? Like just pushing them into the into the door hole. Hmm. There's a stone door in here I didn't click. I think no. One moment. Hey, I found the problem. It's that I'm stupid. I was like, hey, that looks like a switch. Wait a second. I feel so mad about it. This door's blue. Does that mean... Ah. Well, maybe there's one on the other side. <clears throat> Yep. Sure enough. The problem is that, like, it's just the same color as the stuff around it. The thing is, is that there's a lot, in every single game like this, there's a lot of good stuff that I'm like, yes, this is good, this makes sense. But I wouldn't know that on my first run through. But on my second run, I'm like, yeah, this actually works very, very well. It's a very smart... Oh, there we go. It's a very smart, like, potion of haste. Interesting. Big guys, mini men. Whoa, we got new guys, finally. And we got water. Oh yeah, it's the bathhouse, right. This is rad. See, this is what we're all waiting for. We're all rooting for this to happen. The second we start up any game like this, we're all like, yeah, we want that to happen. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Like, when you think about the fun that you've had in Doom, like, yeah, you know what, sometimes the puzzling is cool and interesting, but primarily, I would say that the puzzling is... Maybe it's padding, you know? And, like, that's arguable, but, like, I don't know. When people think about Doom, I would say it is rare that they actually think about, like, oh, man, this cool puzzle. Like, my favorite thing, my favorite puzzles in Doom are I have to kill guys. Wow. My favorite puzzles in Doom are, are things where I have to kill guys. Oh, this holds six? Oh. Gnarly. So we've got new guys now. Those guys up top will like machine gun orbs. I will say they are just cultists again. That's something that I can talk about to greater detail, but I, I feel a little sad about the uh, enemy diversity I've been seeing so far. Like, ordinarily, you know, in a Doom. Is that a dominatrix? Totally just missed that shot. Good job, Al. Uh, in a Doom, you would have, like, a couple of, of soldier guys that, would, that are, like, humans. And then you'd have way more fucked up humanoid demons. And then they would get like more and more fucked up until you get to shit like the cyber demon, you know? I commented on it earlier, but now it's even, you know, more so. Oh yeah, I haven't been working my potions. But, like, all of the enemies so far have been, like, fat dudes in robes, the dogs and the worms, and the shield, and the shield girl. Oh god, I stopped. Like, there's two variants of fat guys with sort of robes, and then there's guys with the robes. And the Don Maki levels here. Yeah, like, there's those guys with the hoods. And then there's the guys with the robes. I guess these are like replacements for the imps. Whoops. Okay, something that I will say is that. The, uh. The switch button is not conducive to being used in game. And like, ordinarily in a game like this, you would have a bunch of guns or you would have a bunch of powers, but here we have both, and like, you don't really get the ability to use those well in, uh, in combat, you know? Alright. This is cool, though. I wonder what the I wonder what the damage numbers are on the axe, you know? Cause like if damage is really good on the axe, then maybe I'll pursue melee more. Oh, he could went flying. That dude has no idea. Realized I didn't have my axe when I stopped time. Boy, what a sentence that is. I guess that's actually not that rare of a sentence. You could technically also hear that in Game of... Nope, God of War pretty easily. The game of the God of the War. This 
this music is so like high school, you know? Pardon me, sir. Okay. I'm gonna imagine that the door locked behind me. Yep. I was hoping that I could have hopped out there and uh, saved, but I guess we die like men. Oh god. That's not what I wanted. God damn it. I gotta cycle all the way back. Unless I can hit X. I can't. Okay. I had not realized that I had run out of crystals either. With all the other shit going on, can you blame me? Did that dog just drown in there? It would make sense. Maybe we bathe in holy water. Oh, hey. I want to be able to get a good look at those. Oh, maybe it'll be like a credits thing. Like, maybe we'll be able to see them all during the credits. Cool, that's everything. I don't even know which one of these bloodstained corpses she is. It really just looks like a dominatrix, like... Demon girl, though. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but... You know, I don't think anyone has done water tech as good as Source. Like, Valve dropped the Source engine in, like, 04. And it's still legitimately one of the best engines of all time. More statues. Oh man. A little gnome or something. When we get a quiet moment and we are on low health and there's no enemies around, I guess that's what I mean by quiet. Um, I want to drink the potion because I want to uh, demonstrate what I mean by something. God damn it. Like, it will be kind of cool if this game turns out to be, like, a creepypasta. But, like... Ah, no. This game does the thing of, like, I see you sitting in your chair, playing your games, doing your violence. I've been thinking about doing a playthrough of Super Hot recently, actually. Not because, like, wow, Super Hot's great, the most inventing shooter I've seen in years. Um... And like, not that it's not, but by the time it was discovered, this corridor had come to ruin. The room beyond has been has been reconstructed from bare rock by the Earth Mother's magic. These Earth Mothers sound great, guys. Can't wait to meet them. Um, super hot is like super innovative and cool and shit, but like, Wall remembers the eastern, the western wing, damaged beyond repair. The recovery materials have been used to restore other bath chambers. So this is the way in. Western wing. Like, Super Hot is good and all, but I feel like the... I feel like the, the game's story is, like, so problematic and so, like, annoying.
so I'd probably need like a wiki to be open in front of me, but I feel like I know for a fact that this game actually does. Oh man, how do I get in there? I know for a fact that this actually runs in uh, one of the one of the Doom source ports I have. I think this is running in GZ Doom. Ah, here we go. Uh, yeah, I think this is running in GZ Doom. Um, hell yeah. Eerie. Uh, but I think almost all of the pic I think almost all of this game is like reskinned, uh, like Doom stuff, you know? Oh, cool. Like the cream funguses are almost definitely just the little like armor pickups that you have in, or the little health pickups that give you one health in regular Doom. Like, that's just a regular item, and, uh... Okay, good. Let's do that. That's what I like to see. I think it's just literally called a health potion, even though Doom isn't, like, that fantasy. Well, I don't know. I guess Doom is, like, one of those things where, like, it's like science fantasy. Oh, whoa. It's a crystal ball, but it's being used as like a <laughs> It's a it's a security camera. That's really cool. <laughs> Radical. That's awesome. Anyway, yeah, like I think the 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 cultists in robes are like probably imps with their fireballs. <sighs> Ledger hold supplies bought from the forge. Uh, blank pages at the back have been ripped away. The scroll is warm after unrolling it. The ink is fresh. Zan, what the hell are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be off with our main force, striking at Hellscore? Unless... Look, the demons are supposed to be way up our ass right now. I saw you coming through the vision globe, and I think I know where you're headed. Cultists are all over the place, and pretty much everyone got ambushed and killed in mere moments. Forge made no exception. Elven Warlock seems to be leading this assault. Tough bitch went straight through the lower plaza and used magic to cave in the whole tunnel behind her. The Lanterns won't hold out forever, and it's going to be hard for us to reach them and assist. Duro went through with five other orcs and used the forge portal to get there. At least I think so. The warp looked unstable to me. She told me to get to Beza, but I was too late, so I am heading back to the Crystal Heart now. Her to the forge. I'll keep the portal open. River Tiati. Thank you. Valk's Barracks and Bathhouse. Shortcut door. End of level? Nah. Cool. Well, we've got a save. An easily justifiable save. This game's really cool. That was a really good firefight. Like, I know that we've been doing the, like, regular running gunning for a while. But, like, that was an exceptional firefight. Alright, and then the forge portal. Uh... So this thing, like it is, it is colored in and it does glow and it does look different, but that's the actual ending door. A little weird. 99% of kills. I wonder if the last just died to friendly fire. Half the secrets. Well, it's better than nothing. I found a lot of secrets this time and I ordinarily don't find a lot of secrets. 
Like, if I were to play this long and, and like, get all the secrets, it would be more justifiable. But I'm not particularly good at these games, so I don't get a lot of the secrets, and I don't, like... Hey, what's my own? Okay, it's not bad for a part-time, though. These are pretty long levels. Okay. I'm going to cut the episode here, because I've been going for a while. This has been Head and Blood, right? Excellent. Um, this is technically Head and One. Uh, but when you buy Head and Blood, right, on Steam, you get one and two, and the game is just called Head and Blood, right, and you have both. But to my knowledge, the first, like, ten-ish levels are, are all Head and Blood, right? Are all Head and, and then the next... Next ten? I think it's ten? Uh, the next ten are all um, Head and Two. But those are all one package now. That's all Head and Blood, right? Which probably means that they can't call a potential third game Head and Blood Right, like Head and Three. Well, where was Head and Two? Well, you see, Head and Blood Right is actually, or they couldn't call it Head and Blood Right Two because that'll just confuse people. So it'll probably just need to have a new subtitle. Uh, but yeah, I've been Alfred. This has been Head and Blood Right. Uh, please support the developers. They made a they made a pretty good game. There's a lot of good running gun in here. Uh, but I'll see you guys next time. Bye.